Do not touch it with your hand. Welcome back to my garage. This uh, episode will be about how to um, change the shape of your combustion chamber um, the poor man way. Also how to match your uh, squish band to the piston dome the poor man way. The first thing you will have to do is to take your hand drill if you have one. You will need to get one if you don't. Uh, mount it in uh, a vise. Same applies to that. Um, then put a plug, a scrap plug, in your uh, head, in your cylinder head, uh, and just chuck it up in the drill. Then uh, it's a good idea to plug it in. <laughs> And as you can see, it's not exactly running through, but uh, because of the slack in the spindle. Um, but that's not really a problem, because you're working with your hand down in here, and you can correct for uh, the run out. Kind of. <laughs> Use the lock on uh, your drill to lock it in a slow speed. Like this. Then take a Dremel tool with uh, uh, maybe a ball bit or like this one which is a ball that turns into a taper and then you can use that to, to shape the chamber while it's uh, spinning in the hand drill. So let's see. Turn that on too. As you may notice, there's quite a lot of shatter. That's uh, <laughs> pretty obvious why. Uh, so it's a good idea to try mounting the drill better than I've done here. Um, when you've reached the shape you want, or the volume you want, uh, you should check it every now and then while grinding, or maybe more often than not. Um, then you can go to uh, sandpaper and use that to um, to polish it up. Uh, this is not, maybe not the best example. Uh, I've used uh, I used a different hand drill uh, when I did this last time, which mounted much uh, stiffer in the vise, uh, so it didn't create that much uh, much shatter. Shatter, shat, shatter is that shat, shatter? No. Um, yeah, the uneven surface. Uh, <laughs> best example. Okay, so uh, how to shape your squish band to your piston? Take your piston, prefer preferably one that's not uh, uh, damaged like this one from a uh, circ clip that uh, got loose. Um, a strip of sandpaper, hold it onto the piston and use it to sand down the squish band to match up with the piston dome shape. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this will be possible in this shaky uh, setup, but we'll try. See if I can hold it, hold it still.
what's great about this um, um, this uh, what do you call it great about doing it less like this is that the piston if if the piston has a uh, simple dome shape not a complex shape like a uh, flat width and angle but just a simple dome like a ball then no matter how you hold the piston if you hold it like this or this or this or this or this or this or this uh, the shape will be the right shape so I'll give it one more shot here and if you're you're not lazy like me when, while making this video uh, and mount the drill properly so that it doesn't shake when you use a better drill than this cheap uh, cheap uh, cheap one uh, I used the Bosch uh, drill last time much better much less uh, play in the head or in the truck but anyway um, it will create good results. I'll see if I can get some a good result now. Do not touch it with your hand. This video may have turned into a how not to uh, do this, but anyway, uh, as you can see, it's turning out quite nice. Uh, if your drill is better than the one I'm using now, I probably, you know what, I'll check it up in the Bosch and we'll see how, and it will kind of turn into a Bosch versus cheap Chinese, and we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so now let's try. We have to prop up. And just find the right position for the sewer. Like this. Okay. So that's turning out pretty nice. Let's uh, give it a go with the grinder too. Let's see. And there's much more torque in the Bosch too, so uh, I won't have to speed it up as much as this uh, Chinese uh, crack drill. Okay, so if that happens, you're pretty much screwed. But um, and I'm not saying this is a safe way. Safe. <laughs> I'm not saying this is a safe way uh, to do it, but it works. So with the Bosch drill, much better, much easier to control. Uh, but be extremely careful. Uh, not because you can damage yourself, but because you can easily damage the cylinder. One slip, and it's done. Okay, so that uh, turned into uh, it turned into a Bosch versus uh, Chinese uh, crap drill uh, uh, 
it uh, kind of uh, test <laughs> and uh, it also turned into may have turned into a how, a, how not to uh, <laughs> reshape your combustion chamber or i think the uh, both the reshaping and the um, reshape, reshape re the resizing and reshaping of the uh, combustion chamber and the reshaping of the squish band did turn out okay no it didn't but it has turned out okay uh, or it has turned out great before for me i promise <laughs> okay thanks for watching please subscribe uh, click the like button and i'm sure you will uh, want to leave some comments here <laughs> okay bye